Now, Gaussians are great, but they're not always the most intuitive things to work with. Let's drop back to one-dimensional Gaussians, just the standard thing. And remember the thing that we all know. That is, if you look within one standard deviation of the mean, then most of the probability mass lies there. It's like about 68%. And if you go out to two standard deviations, it's a lot more. It's like 95%. And at three standard deviations, you're getting 99.7% of the probability mass there. Okay, that's the story. That's the thing we all know from statistics. But what happens when we move out of one dimensions and into higher dimensions? Let's, let's take a look at what happens in, in a simple case where I'm sure the same thing is going to work. Let's look at a two-dimensional Gaussian. You've got a mean. Let's say we have standard deviation equal to one with the simplest possible variance. Let's just take the identity matrix as the covariance matrix. And then I'm going to look at regions within one standard deviation or two standard deviations or three standard deviations in 2D. These are now disks, nice round disks about the mean. When you check those numbers, you get, what is it? What, 39%, 86%, 98.9%? .9%? These numbers are not the same. These are different. Now, it's not too different, right? Still, almost everything is within three standard deviations of the mean. So I, I feel pretty good about that, right? 98.9%. There we go. We're all good. Now, you can check this. You can use polar coordinates to do these integrals, check and see that those numbers are right. And then what comes next? 